In this video, we'll be setting up an external captive portal with Unify. So let's get started. This is the topology that we'll be using. We've got a Unify AP that is adopted on a controller. In this case, the controller is installed on a cloud server, but it can also be installed locally on your laptop or on a cloud key. It doesn't really matter. And the web server in this case is a, an Ubuntu machine uh, on a cloud server. It's a fresh uh, install and uh, I'll be setting up uh, the machine in front of you and uh, it doesn't have to be a, a VPS on the cloud it can also be a local machine a VM uh, a Raspberry Pi it just has to be reachable from your Unify AP so uh, let's start with the setting up the web portal we are on the Ubuntu server at the moment we'll start by installing Apache and PHP on the server these are the steps that we need to follow. They are also given in the description below. Now we are installing PHP and some of its required dependencies. PHP is now installed. We have PHP 7.4.3. Let's restart our Apache web server. At this point, we need to go to our Unify controller and note down the site ID of this site. Your Unify controller may have multiple sites on it. At the moment, I'm on the test site. Each site has a unique uh, site ID, which is given in the URL. So uh, the site ID for this site is 1VHR44IE. Uh, uh, the site ID parameter is given after manage slash site parameters. So we need to note this down. This is important because when Unify APs redirect Wi-Fi clients to an external captive portal, they redirect them to this path. So let's say if the IP address of your web server is 1.1.1.1, basically the client will be redirected to 1.1.1.1 and this path. So now we need to jump onto our web server and go to Apache's document root, which is at var www.html. Here we need to create these directories. This is the path where the code of our captive portal will reside. And the external captive portal code that we are using is based on the Unify API client, which is uh, an open source uh, API client for Unify. Uh, to install that, first of all, we need to install Composer. Composer is a PHP dependency manager, and uh, we can install it using these commands. Now we can use Composer to download the Unify API client in this directory. At this point we are ready to add the captive portal code uh, to this directory. Uh, it consists of two files index.php and connecting.php. Index.php is the captive portal splash page and it consists of an HTML form that the user will have to fill uh, in order to get access to the Wi-Fi and connecting.php uh, has the code for authorizing the user on the network. Connecting.php has a few parameters that you will need to fill in such as the site ID uh, which is the ID that we noted down in this step and uh, the username, password and IP address of your Unify controller. So let's copy this code to our server. We 
we can use the nano text editor uh, which is uh, pretty simple to use now we're going to enter the site id and the unify controller parameters here we need to enter the username password and the ip address or host name of the unify controller site ID is the one and the same that we noted down in an earlier step at this point our captive portal web server is ready so we can enable captive portal redirection and guest services on the in the unify controller so we'll go to guest control and enable guest portal and here we will select external portal server the IP address of my server will be entered here and we'll apply the changes then we'll go to wireless networks and enable guest policies so the AP is provisioning at the moment uh, when the provisioning is complete, uh, we'll be ready to test it. Our AP has been provisioned and you can see that its status is now connected. So now it's time to test our captive portal. Our captive portal splash page has loaded and it consists of a simple HTML form asking for the name and email address of the Wi-Fi client. Uh, you can add uh, authentication and you can do all sorts of uh, customer engagement uh, based on your requirements uh, but this is just a simple capture portal to uh, demonstrate the uh, concept of an external capture portal with unify so we'll enter our name So the captive portal has uh, authorized us on the network and uh, after a few seconds it's uh, redirected us to Google. Uh, the data that the Wi-Fi client adds in the HTML form can be saved in some kind of database and can later be used for authentication, for identifying the customer or for, uh, for marketing purposes. So now let's go to the Unify controller and see the status of our client you can see that the client is at the moment connected and uh, if we want to uh, kick out a Wi-Fi user we can use this unauthorized option so this was the demonstration of a simple external captive portal with unify I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments below thanks a lot and have a nice day